Hey folks, how are we doing? Bit of a windy day today, but it's dry enough to put some fertilizer on. So we've got uh, five bags of night tram on there and five bags of polysulfate. So we're gonna go up the road, going on some wheat and um, yeah, Rich has gone off with a spreader and uh, I'm about to go chase him, so let's crack on. Right, here's my old pal Richard. The tractor run yeah. legend you are. We've got yeah. another one coming up. We have our sk skills have been called on again. Again, again. So is it, it Easter it, Monday, isn't it, I think? Yeah, Easter Monday. The poor little lad, he's 16 year old farming lad. He's um, been diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. He's been suffering it for two years and we're just trying to bring a bit of joy to him, raise a bit of money for the family and um, give him a few memories and stuff like that. Yeah, because he's tracked the mad, farming oh, mad, anyway, like, absolute I've farming known his mad. I've mum and dad for years, yeah. coming around the shows and so. through the farming world and that and we're just trying to raise a bit of money for them, give them yeah. a bit of support really. So, so we're having a tractor run on Easter Monday, so uh, what date's that? Um, the 1st of April. 1st of April. 1st of April. Um, 9 uh, o'clock start? 9 o'clock start for Bacon Rolls at yep. Church Farm Resting Well. The, all this, it's all, all be in the uh, description, all these, all this yeah, detail. So. Yeah, case and that. Yeah. If anyone wants to bring a tractor or bring a prize to the auction or go online and just give in and make it a donation, that would be brilliant. Yeah, I'll say all the links will be in the uh, description. I'd say we're going to have a little auction, um, you know, bits and bobs and stuff. You know, yeah. don't be, if you come, don't yeah. be shy, you know, all good cause. Oh, and, yeah, um, you know, course. try and, you know, have a good day for this young lad. Like, you know. Yeah, this isn't a national big charity that we normally do it for. Yeah, this is just one lad, like, yeah. yeah. This one lad, he really Farming needs lad. a bit of help. Yeah. So, so if you can come yeah. along, come along, bring a tractor. If you can't yeah. bring a tractor, come along and have a crack. Yeah. So. See you, there. See you there. So just on the way up to the field now. Bit of a bit of hard work for the load of this bit because we're pulling out onto this road. Uh, obviously it's a stationary and it's a straight uphill bit and it will show you just how good this thing pulls. Well, 17k then. We went into the, the power shift box and it just, we'll just try and keep pulling. So you don't, you know, because you've got that hydrostatic at the front, at the start, um, which is not great for pulling, but as soon as you get in, you know, past that 17K and get into the power shift box, you're away and it's accelerating up here with six ton of uh, fertilizer on the back. You wouldn't be able to do that if you were straight in, you know, if you were straight hydrostatic box lot. So it's still trying to pull. 29k, 30k, just took the, that's probably the last gear that is, I should think. Does pull very well on the road. You've got to hand that to the, uh, to the, you know, the Dual Tech VT's uh, transmission in these loaders lot. It is very hard to beat. Because you get the best of both worlds, you get the power shifter on the road, you get the hydrostatic around the yard. She is off, 40k, 42, 43. It normally sits at about 43, you know, 44k. So it does crack on. You can't deny. All right, so we're just coming up to uh, the Black Cat construction again. I've noticed I've come the back way this time. And oh, there's quite a fleet of gear here, lot. I'll have to um, do another update with the drone because that was quite well received. We got uh, cat dozer here. What's that? A D6. I think a couple of compactors. Yeah, there's a fair bit of kit here now. Yeah, she's a D6. Very nice. There's a pad foot compactor there and a. And a smooth roll one lot. So they are, they are really cracking on. Here's the um, uh, the part, the, not the part, uh, the, yeah, power driver. They call it a power driver? Fair lump of um, bit of kit that is. Could hear that last week bonging away lot. So yeah, they're really cracking on. I'll have to do an update, definitely. Right, so we're in 
unfortunately this corner where the gateway is does lay a bit wet as you can see yeah it's a bit spongy that is isn't it but it's always the case isn't it so i pulled up here it's about uh, corner kind of the kind of out of the crap a bit like but don't want to i might just draw up a bit more just to keep out of this bit but uh, cox <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get on to track because it sounds like he might be on the way. Right, so we're just backing up the hill now, as you can see, and you can see the wheelings. It's getting a bit drier as we get up the top here, look. I think that'll do. We're somewhere near there. So that we don't sink too bad on the field. It's bound to be wet up round the other way, isn't it, lot? That's what I'm thinking of. I know what's what a bit better. Once you've been round. So as you can see, we've got a new Kuhn Axis 40.2. Oh, uh, yeah. So that has got automatic uh, rate control on it. So, um, yeah, we'll just dib off the, dib off here for a minute. Uh, yeah, that's got automatic rate control on it. So, um, so it just varies the output based on your uh, forward speed. So, slower you go, the slower it comes out faster you go the quicker it comes out so and you can have um, full section control on it as well which is probably another 10 grand or something like but uh, off she goes yeah two bags good idea because it'll bound to be, be a bit wet in places around this headland so this is uh, our Ceres bag lifter very heavy duty. As with all series equipment, it's not going to break in a while. It's going to last a long, long time. Yeah, they do make some uh, strong old stuff, series do. There you go. It don't look particularly great down here, does it, look? Very bare, in fact. And it is all the way on this sort of south side of the hill. There comes Richard. Zooming round. He's probably got enough for an up and down as well, look. But there's, there's plants here. They've just got to get going. Yeah, they need a bit more of this stuff, a bit more of the old current bun, a bit of food, and uh, yeah, they'll get growing hopefully. Here he comes, he'll want uh, some fertiliser this time. No, we'll give it to him.
Not too bad around there, or? Bit moist. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's just it's just a bit soft, isn't it, lot? Well, very easy to see. Beepy's on it, though. Sorry. Doing well without it, wouldn't you? Right, that's the nitrogen on time for this sulfate. See what this stuff looks like. on it's certainly far more dense this sulfur than um, than the nitrogen because when you're stacking them you can get three three higher this sulfate compared to two higher the nitram so the same uh, you know same weight bags but you know, they're all 600 kilogram bags but um, yeah this uh, this sulfate stuff is far more dense. Ugh. <laughs> you ain't had to do it for a while, are you? <laughs> Right down where I've moved. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, key, isn't it? Look. Right, so we've got to transport all these empty bags back now. So the easiest way to do it, I find, is stuff them all in one bag. So that ain't going to go on and go anywhere now. Uh, back at the yard now, just uh, emptying the compound of um, separated muck. If you can see anything, I can't see a great deal. I've got a bit of oil on the old um, windscreen and I've just run out of um, screen wash. So when we wash the bucket out, we'll do the windows at the same time and refill the screen wash. There's no good when you've got sun out, you can't see anything, can you? Oh, I'll just give the old uh, spread a, a wash, clean all the crap off. Got really dusty. That sulfur's really dusty stuff. So I give her a good old wash, just on the. I'll well, give the tractor a little bit of a. Um, uh, what do you call it? Window wash as well, and uh, we're all good. So I'm going to part this up. Hope we can get on with the afternoon chores then. We're a bit late again. What's the time? Uh, yeah, we're probably 20 minutes late, something like that. So, you know, we'll go and lose this round here. I try and crack on. Just a nice, simple machine, really, but with a, you know, half decent spec on it. So, there's your obviously adjustment for your. For your rate and everything like there's one of the uh, actuators they're supposedly you know pretty damn reliable which is good that's like your tri board so that is activated by that hydraulic ram behind that cover so that drops in 
when you you know when you're spreading the headland and then this deflects it more into the field so you don't get the overlap and it don't go in the ditch well, LED lights um, yeah there's a little tool you need for adjusting it uh, comes with an app obviously like a lot of stuff this does good bit of room in between the tractor and the spreader so you can actually get in there yeah just nice um, decent spec light obviously it's on weigh scales so um, you know that's how it knows um, you know what's left in the tank you know is, which is quite handy and like I say it's got um, uh, it's kind of variable rate but it's, it's speed speed uh, it's it puts it on to your speed so if you're going through a slow bit you, it puts it on slower automatically like so but like I say you can have it a full uh, full section control as well if you want you know automatic section control our one is on a PTO but you can get um, you can get hydraulic drive as well so yeah you can spec it up to Good as you want and you so like I say you can get a good few bags in there you can get about five bags of nitram in there which is not a very dense uh fertilizer so i've just got to move the digger because it's going to get serviced in here on monday so i'm just going to draw the digger forward swing it around so there's a bit more room for it to sit in here so we'll do that Yeah, Ronnie B. Yeah, Ronnie. We've just got to put a bail in for big Ronnie. Got one out ready. I just fought the solid in for him. As you can see, they're all having a good nosh. And Ronnie, he's a bit, he's a bit more, <laughs> he's a bit, yeah, going to eat me hand there, aren't you? He's a bit more, um, well, saying that, he's a bit more civilised. Ain't you, mate? Eh? You're still, you're still not great. Yeah, you're still, <laughs> you're still not great, are you, Ron? Hey, Ronnie boy, look at him looking. You good boy, are you, Ron? <laughs> oh dear, he's fun. He's, he's getting a fair size now, our Ron. But um, I mean, of course, you always got to watch, watch balls. Um, I am a very good judge of character of a cow, you know what I mean, or a bull, whatever. But that doesn't mean you let your guard down. And it's actually, it's not so much Ronnie that um, mucks about with the bales, it's more the blooming, the little effers in here lot. Hence why chuck the you know chuck the food in that they've nosed out chuck that in and then that keeps them occupied rather than trying to smash the bale about which is the which is the problem basically look but ronnie does enjoy you know ronnie does enjoy uh, a good bow smash up where's he gone oh he's just there just there, so he's out of the way. But like I say, give these um, effers off the chance, and they're all round this bow. Then, as you're getting the net wrap off, they're all headbutting it and knocking it everywhere. It makes life hard work. Then, look at that, just uh, unwound that off the bow. Very little soilage on that, which is what you want. Chuck that out, won't leave it in here for Henry to put on with his muck spreader. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get bothered by Ronnie. 
He's just there, busy, busy eating. Oh, there he is, right, Ronnie? No good boy? Look at you, you're a proud looking <coughs> chap, aren't you? Cough it up, mate. You a good boy? Good boy, yeah. Yeah, see? Good boy, yeah. So if he really wanted to, he could have me over that. He'd clear these, I'd clear these efforts and that feed rail easily if he wanted to. But it's not in you, mate, is it? Not in you. He's just a bit worried. He's a bit on the defensive lot. Just because you don't know, do you, mate? But then you've got his, good boy, Ron. Good boy, you're all right, Ron. You're all right, mate. It's all right. Don't worry, Ron. Don't worry. You playing your straw, mate. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Ron? Yeah. Yeah, Ronnie boy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Don't be silly. Go and play with your straw. All right? Cut to me being launched over the free fence. No, his, uh, his big brother, Reg, who's round the other way, he's, he, serves the, he serves the cows. Ronnie, obviously, he's a bit smaller at the minute, and he's on effers. Could do a cow, but um, he's round here at the minute. But, uh, yeah, his mate, big brother, Reg, sounds a pound. I reckon I could ride Reggie. Not that I'm going to try, but I reckon I could. He's just like solid. You know, so solid through 21 seconds. That's solid, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, I think Ronnie will come round. He'll come round. Especially when I'm feeding, because when, like every day round there, I feed Reggie, get, uh, Reggie gets um, Meals on Wheels. And uh, Reggie respects that lot, you know, he, he knows I'm the hand that feeds him. So when Ronnie realises that, when he goes round there and he's serving cows, I think he'll come round, he'll be, he'll be smashing. But like I say, you don't ever trust a bull 100% or indeed some cows, especially uh, calving cows, because like, the old hormones are flowing and they can be right cows. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that vid. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta! Cheesy cock gloves.